I've got it all put together, and that's pretty much it. My table's an inch thick. Uh, the one key thing to note here is I've got the bolt, the pivot bolt back there in the rear, aligned with the top of the table so that the wire, as it rotates, passes through the same point in the table. Now, if you were to use trunnions and things like that uh, to pivot your table, you would get the same effect. But I did this so that I would always have consistency in case I later want to add uh, markings for cutting in either dimension or maybe, you know, fences, but it's really nice for universal markings. So that's why I lined the pivot point up with the top surface of my table. I'm able to get about 35 degrees uh, in this direction. In this direction, it appears to be about the same. I didn't get as much as I wanted at the moment because, well, my table's an inch thick. So it hits on the top edge um, and the bottom edge as it, you know, it starts to tilt. So that, uh, that's a little bit disappointing, but if I just cut little slits on each side or elongated my slot, that would be no problem whatsoever. I kind of hope to not do that because I don't want too big a hole because if I go to cut really small pieces, I want to be able to get in there. For my wire support, I didn't put a spring on this time. I'm relying on the tension of the bow to hold everything taut, which it does pretty well. I'm using a number 8 wire this time instead of the number 16 that I have on my small foam cutter. I actually don't really like the number 8. I'm running a third of an amp is about all I can get to run through it with my uh, power supply. I can run a lot more through there. That one gets a lot hotter and it's also a lot stiffer. This one it starts to drag with the uh, lower forces. So I definitely recommend using a heavier wire. So I think I may swap this out for maybe a number, what was in between? I don't remember there, but I have one that's in between that I have on my larger bow. So I may, may try that or may just end up going back with the number 16 wire. Um, and yes, they are guitar strings. Uh, I love them. They, I haven't burned it out or anything like that, so they work really great. But to stow this, all I do then is unhook it from my top uh, clamp here, which are just little hooks that I made out of paper clips, nothing fancy. I will later come up with a micro adjustment system for the four to back range. I don't need one side to side on this one because I have this giant tilt mechanism. So not a problem there. My bolt and my wing nut allow me to snug this up really tight if I need to, but right now I've got it set where it's pretty, it's pretty tight. But then I just push it back to stowed position and that gives me an extra whole foot of space. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope uh, that kind of helps you go build one of your own. Make a couple improvements. I think I'm actually going to improve upon this a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but there's a few little things I don't quite like, so I'll let you to it, but um, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.